Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about my top 10 office fragrances. So this list, all of these fragrances you can wear into work and you're going to be safe no matter what. You're not going to offend anybody and potentially you might end up getting some nice compliments and be known as the guy who smells nice in work. So I've actually worn all of these to the office. They're tried and tested. Just looking at the list, I've probably had a compliment at least once or I've had someone recognize me and say I smell nice. As we get closer down the list, they're more suited towards the office and they're more safe. And in my opinion, they're perfect for the office. So we're gonna kick things off with the honorable mention spot. And we've got three. And the reason why I've put these three here, most people know about them, they're quite overdone. Uh, they're all designers and they're all on a very similar vibe. So first one we've got is this one here, Versace Dylan Blue. So this smells like deodorant. It smells like shower gel, and to me, it's nice. And funnily enough, I got a funny story about this one. Uh, in one of my old jobs, uh, I would go in to work and I would wear a different fragrance every single day. And every single time I would wear this one, I would get a compliment from this one woman. And I wore it three different times, and she never complimented me on anything else, just this. And I had worn like niche there and uh, Aventus and all stuff like that and I got a compliment just on this one, which is really strange. So this is one I'll mention The other one is this one here Dior Sauvage. So this is a very uh, Old ish fragrance. I've had this one for a very long time. I think it's an empty bottle. It is uh, This to me if I were to ever wear Sauvage again The only place I can see myself wearing it is in an office setting where I just don't care I just want to smell fresh and clean and I'll spray this on, there's no expectations on if I'm wearing like a bot fragrance and stuff like that. Uh, it is still good, uh, Eau de Toilette version if possible, uh, all the Eau de Parfum can do you great. Uh, so that's another honorable mention, I just wouldn't wear it or suggest it too much just because uh, there are a lot better options nowadays. And another one that is similar to the other two is this one here, Bleu de Chanel. So they're all the kind of blue fragrances that I can suggest to you. Uh, all in the honorable mention spot. Either one, if you have any of these, wear them into the office, you'll do great. Uh, if I can suggest Bleu de Chanel, man, it's good. Uh, I would suggest you the Eau de Parfum because it's the most versatile. Okay, so kicking off our list. This is probably the most sort of casual on the list. Um, if, again, you're not doing it to be too formal and you just go into the office every single day uh, and you know, you're know you just kind of there, uh, you're not the boss, then uh, one thing I can recommend you if you're fairly new, if you're kind of like, you know, young or in like a junior position or something, uh, and you don't care too much about uh, trying to seem as professional as possible, I would recommend to you this one, Invictus or Invictus Aqua in this case. So Invictus Aqua has got a kind of playful bubblegum sort of smell. Uh, the Aqua version has got more of like an aquatic marine smell to it, but it has got a really nice freshness to it. And that's what I really like about this one is because it's kind of casual, uh, it's not going to offend anyone, and it's just really good for an office setting. I have, I know a lot of people that wear this in work, and from my experience, yeah, as a daily wearer for work, this is a good option, and it's quite cheap as well for a designer. So coming in at last place is Invictus Aqua. Next up, this one's a little bit similar to Invictus Aqua, where it's got an almost kind of aquatic smell, fresh linen sheet sort of smell. This one is really safe, and it's this one here from Versace again. This is Versace Pour Hon. So this one doesn't get talked about a lot anymore, but this has got a like a tangerine fresh breeze to it, and it's really good uh, just in terms of subtleness. I wear this sometimes to the gym just because of how uh, light smelling it is. It does perform really well. It lasts you all day, but it's so inoffensive. It's so clean. It's so perfect for an office setting. Uh, so this is another really good one that I can recommend as well if you want to be safe. Personally, I can't see myself wearing this anything else apart from like a safe interaction, for example, being in the office or in the gym. Next up, this is a clone of Silver Mountain Water. It's Armaf Siage. Citrusy, tea inkiness. It just, it's such a good clone of Silver Mountain Water. If you wear this to work, you're going to smell fresh, you're going to smell clean, like you've just come out of the shower, uh, but in a really, really unique, crisp, almost lime citrus smell. 
uh, super good and amazing reactions and also great performance on the club dinner week. Next on the list, these two are from the actual House of Creed and I've included two at the same spot because I just couldn't decide which one I wanted to choose for uh, the best office setting for this, for the Creed house. And the first one we're gonna talk about is this one here, Himalaya. So Himalaya, I think I described this one uh, as a good uh, job interview fragrance, just because of how uh, safe it is. It, almost to me, out of all the Creed lineup, this is the most linear. This is if you strip everything back, this is what you get for the Creed DNA. It's got the main note of gunpowder in here and it does give it like a, a bit like what the name suggests, like an icy coolness to it, but a nice creamy sandalwood base. So it's creamy, it's powdery and it's fresh. It's very inoffensive. Uh, if you spray this, you, you might just get it passed off like it's your clothes or your natural smell, uh, a nice clean natural smell. So Himalaya is a great one. Uh, good performance too, uh, and it lasts on clothes for ages. Uh, another one I can suggest is if you're a little bit older, this one is, like I said, in comparison to Invictus Aqua, this one is what you wear if you are the boss. If you want to be the boss, or you're close to being the boss, you wear this and make a statement. Creed Viking. So this gets compared to Old Spice, or like a traditional splash-on cologne. And I totally get it. Uh, this smells like, you know, dad's uh, aftershave kind of smell. It's got a really nice peppery note in here. Uh, peppermint, I think, sorry. Uh, and it's just so uplifting. Oh, man, so good. Uh, this is like Viking, uh, the name of ice and fire. So that's what it's supposed to smell like. Fieriness, but a nice coolness to it as well. So another great shout is Creed Viking. Next up on the list is a green fresh fragrance. This is from the house of Casa Moratti, <laughs> uh, Zerjoff's sister house, and it's this one here, Fiero. So Fiero, I think this is a really old bottle actually. This oh man, just smells like fresh lemongrass. It's so refreshing, it's so uplifting, so kind of easy going, which is just perfect for the office. If you want to spray something that just smells fresh and clean, and green and citrusy and just refreshing and calming. This is such a good shout for that. If I know I'm gonna have a stressful day in work, I'll spray this on and it just, whenever I smell it, it just somewhat calms you down. It's just a really nice calming fragrance, uh, which is good if you work in a stressful environment, uh, like I used to before I, before I quit. <laughs> uh, so this is another great shout, uh, Casamorati Fiero. Next up on the list, guys, this is from the House of Amouage. This is a very light, easygoing fragrance, similar to Fiero, but this is done in a classy way. So this is if you want to be quite posh, quite upscale, quite kind of not easygoing, but like you know you smell good uh, and you, you know you're the boss, but secretly, you know? <laughs> so good. This is Dear Man. So Diaman has got a really nice note of peony, which is a very light flower. It almost doesn't give off any smell at all, uh, but it's also coupled with uh, a really nice dry vet of a note in here. So this is perfect for an autumn winter day. When you go into the office, you're not too sure what to wear. You want to wear something nice and light uh, and inoffensive, but posh. This is what you wear. This is if you know that you're the boss, you don't have to shout about it too much and you want something that you can smell, uh, but other people can't really smell it because it sits really close to the skin because of the note of peony in this. But it gets good reactions when people can smell it. Uh, it's a really good one for the office and just any upscale uh, environment, you've got Diaman. Okay, and just missing out on the number one spot. This one, again, is a really good job interview fragrance uh, and it's just so safe, it's so inoffensive. This is, um, in compared, I think Jeremy Fragrance said this, this is what you wear to uh, whenever you go and meet your girlfriend's parents for the first time. That's how safe this actually is. It smells like uh, a fresh bubble bath and I completely understand the comparisons that people say about this. Uh, it's just so easy going. And this is Soapy Clean YSL Long. And this, at one point in time, you can probably tell from the huge dent I've taken from this bottle, this 100ml bottle. 
this was my signature scent for such a long time. Whenever I was in work, whenever I was going out to customers' houses and I was selling them windows and doors. And I wanted to wear something that was safe, inoffensive, smelled nice, smelled professional, smelled like you knew what you were talking about. That's what you wear um, if you want to smell, you know what you're talking about. If you work in a sales environment, especially, and you're actually uh, customer facing, this is great. Uh, I've had amazing reactions from this. Uh, it's not the best performer, I'll be honest, but if like in a sales environment where you have to go up to like a customer's house like I did, uh, I would spray this on, drive there for half an hour, and it would kind of sit quite close then to the skin, but it just did great for that. Uh, or if you're working close encounters, like next to someone, if you sit next to someone in an office, this is great because it won't offend them too much if you go quite light on the sprays. Uh, soapy clean, so good. Speaking of soapy clean, coming in at the number one spot, this was actually chosen uh, by a lot of other people as the best job interview fragrance. And if you get the job, you can continue wearing this because it is a perfect office scent. It's considered... Uh, at the time of recording this video, one of the best office scents available on the market. It's a designer, and it's from the house of Prada, and that's Prada L'Homme, Eau de Toilette. And I think this is from, uh, this is one of the Spanish made ones. It gets compared to the made in France and made in Spain on the performance. This, three sprays, wear it to the office, one behind each ear, one behind the neck. When you walk past someone, chances are, uh, you're going to get a compliment or they're at least going to know that you smell nice. You smell fresh and clean, very almost powdery uh, from the iris in here. This is the best smell in iris uh, that I know from any fragrance I have. And it is just perfect. It's like a fresh laundry detergent. To me, this is the perfect fragrance that you wear if you're wearing a white shirt. And it's this is the white shirt fragrance that you wear. I can't think of any other time that you would wear this apart from wearing like, you know, white, freshly pressed shirts and stuff like that. So coming in at the number one spot, this one just is pure class in a bottle. So professional. Prada Lom. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. Remember, if you want to pick up any of these fragrances, I will leave a link down in the description below. They are affiliate links. So if you guys do decide to buy from there, uh, it's no extra cost to you, but it does really help out on the channel. Another thing that really helps out on the channel is dropping a like on this video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. If you guys want to see more videos and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We are, like I said, building a really nice community and we would be more than happy to have you on the channel. If you guys want to know how I've managed to grow to a massive collection in such a short amount of time, I do have a online course which teaches you how to actually decant your fragrances and sell them and put all the money back into growing your own fragrances. If that sounds like something you guys would be interested in, I have got an online course that I've recently created. It's 10 pounds and it will teach you absolutely everything there is to know about decanting your fragrances, selling them on and putting all that money back into your own business and just growing a huge fragrance collection at no extra cost. So there will be a link in the description for that as well. So that is gonna do it for this video guys and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.